Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have a really really pretty hair tutorial for you guys. This is a fishtail half up half down style. I think it's so pretty and so romantic. Perfect for Valentine's Day or any other special occasion or heck good for every day too because it's just so pretty and pretty easy and simple to do as well. So if you are interested in finding out how to get this fishtail braided half up half down style then just keep on watching. But of course before we jump into the video if you are new to my channel hi my name is Jackie or you can call me Jack Jack or whichever you like it best make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so you will be notified and you will officially become part of the little flower family. And if you want to see more hair tutorials I do have an entire playlist of all the hair tutorials I've ever done with all the different lengths of hair that I've ever had so I will leave that linked in the cards for you guys if you want to check check it out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I went ahead and applied my hair extensions from Bombay Hair. I do have a video explaining in detail how I apply my extensions and how I get them to blend in with my hair. And if you guys want to see that video, I will have it linked in the cards for you guys as well as the description box. So to get started with this hairstyle, we are going to take a section of hair right in front of our ear, like so and we are going to fishtail braid. I don't do a ton of fishtail braids here on my channel just because they're so time consuming. They're easy to do and they're really really pretty it's just it takes forever especially if you have really long hair. So what you want to do is split your hair into two equal parts or as equal as you can get them. So I'm going to take my index finger take a little section from one side and cross it behind to meet the other side like that. Then readjust. Now I'm going to do the same thing taking my index finger just cutting a little section of hair and then I pull it around to meet the other side like that. See what I did there? And we're basically just going to do that all throughout our hair. I do pretty big sections because I want to be finished braiding sooner but the smaller sections you do the longer it's going to take but also the prettier it's going to look so I just keep readjusting my hands so that the hair is completely smooth in my hands so that's all I'm doing right here taking my index finger to cut a section and twist it behind to meet the other side see how we're kind of creating the fishtail effect so I'm just going to keep on doing this all throughout my hair about it I don't think it was necessary to go this far down but once you are done we're just going to secure it loosely with an elastic because we may be adjusting the elastic in a second but now I'm going to tug at the fishtail to make it nice and big this is probably my favorite part I just love the effect that it creates like look at that so cool. So we're going to pull our fishtail braid around to the back of our head, but first I'm going to do the same thing to the next side. Okay, so now that we have this completed, again, we are just going to pull apart the braid so that it's nice and big. I love, I just love, love, love the way fishtail braids look when you pull them apart. Oh, love. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the fishtail braid around my head, and you may need a few bobby pins to kind of secure it in place, but I'm going to bring it across and then just bobby pin it down right there and then use this one to do the same thing and then we're just going to tuck the tail through the fishtail. So I wanted to verbally explain that first and then I'm going to turn around and actually do it for you guys so that way you can see what I'm talking about and I'm not going to have a mirror when I do this so hopefully it goes well. First things first, see, pull this across the head and then I'm just going to bobby pin it down right here I 
And because I have extensions, this actually might be easier to bobby pin and like hold onto because I can kind of bobby pin it into my extensions if that makes sense. Okay, so there is that one. Now we're going to take the other side and do the same thing. But now with this little tail, I'm going to tuck it through here. And then bobby pin it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Now again, I, I'm not using a mirror so I have no idea what this looks like and I may have to run to the bathroom real quick just so I can look at a mirror and see what this looks like and make a few adjustments as needed. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did my few little adjustments. It was nothing big. Like, I'll still show you guys the back. But what I'm going to do right now, and I have to do this off camera because I don't have an outlet close enough to plug my curling iron in. I know, i got to do something with this filming setup. But um, I'm going to curl my hair, and this is the Bella Me Hot Rod. This is the 32 millimeter, so that's like the size of the barrel. But I'm just going to take the hair and just wrap it around the curling wand, and I'm going to do that all throughout my hair, and I will be right back. So here is the finished look, and this is what the back looks like. I love this hairstyle so much, you guys. It's just so beautiful, soft, and romantic. It's perfect for Valentine's Day if you guys are looking for a hairstyle to wear. Don't worry, I have a separate video coming up soon sharing with you guys a bunch of different Valentine's Day hairstyles, but this is one of them that you can definitely do because it's just so romantic and just so pretty. But I love the way it looks with the curls added. I think it just adds more texture to this hairstyle, and it just looks really Really, really beautiful. If you guys enjoy single hairstyle tutorials, be sure to let me know. But I do have some fun ones that include like a lot, like six, eight, ten different hairstyles in one video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. And if you try it out, be sure to tag me on social media so that I can see your pictures because I would love to see them and like them and comment and all that kind of stuff. So be sure to tag me. I can't wait to see how this hairstyle looks on your guys' hair. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!